currently out, I wouldn't call this a forest, but just out in nature, I guess. And I really wanted to vlog today because I am on a holiday with my mum and this place that we're in now is just completely surrounded, engulfed in nature and it's amazing. There's a pine forest over that way that I want to explore. I'm kind of just visiting this spot for a minute that I'm in now because I need to go back home get some like boots to walk in so it's safe because there could be snakes and stuff around and also get my phone because it's charging and then we can properly explore but I have done a bit of exploring to get up to this point so I'll show you that footage first and then we'll come back to the present yeah surprisingly hot in the sun today. That over there is what I'm really interested in. Apparently there's a young pine forest that check out these little mushies I found in the tree. They must be growing out of the wood I think. I'm not really sure what kind they are but it's nice seeing them around. They're just congregated in the same spot. Oh, this is cute. loving this place so far. So much to explore. It's kind of overwhelming to be honest, in a good way. <laughs> my shoes, I have my phone, I brought like another bag of stuff in case I need it and I do have a map on my phone of all the walking trails and the pine forest and everything so it should be good. I'll show you where I am really quick because I found the pine forest and it's so pretty. So, so here it is, it goes all the way down there and then you can see in there it looks like, you know, there's quite a bit of it. <laughs> It goes all the way up there. It's so cool. I'm so, so excited to have found this. So we're gonna head in. seeing some mushrooms around the place. So many beautiful trees here and the way that the light shines down on everything and makes all the pine needles and leaves and stuff light up. It's just so magical. You one of the Corellas screeching, they're so loud. Everyone hates them, but I love them. <laughs> oh, there's something down there. I can hear it. Could have sworn I heard twigs snapping. Could be kangaroos. I did see some down here before. So that's a possibility. Old trees here look pretty dead. They're just everywhere, actually.
You see what I'm seeing? Look. Just had to climb down that. Up there. Down here. It's a bit like going down a beaver dam or something. <laughs> Not that I've ever met a beaver before. I saw a kangaroo over that way, so I think that's what the snapping twigs was that I heard. That was cool. I'm like so excited that I found those mushies, especially the Amanita. It's so exciting. I'm seeing more of those little gallerinas everywhere as I keep walking. Ooh, I think I've walked through a spider web. Okay, I've come to this really cool little green clearing. I keep hearing these really weird, like, deep grunting animal noises, and um, I'm pretty sure they're kangaroos. I know I keep talking about them, but like, I worry a bit because if there's male red kangaroos around here, that can be like really dangerous. Oh, there's one right there. Do you see it? I'm not scared of men. He's really camouflaged in there. Do you see him? Ooh, there's his head right there. All the kangaroos I've seen, like in my life, have been pretty timid, which is good. Because <laughs> I don't want to get beat up. <laughs> well, there he goes. You see him? He's going really slowly. Ooh, dude. My oh, sweetie. Yeah, I've also come across a male kangaroo before that was massive and we like bumped into each other, stared at each other and then ran in different directions. <laughs> it was kind of funny. See some bones over there. Looks like these are just some leg bones, I think. And I'd say these are definitely from a kangaroo. Just because that's kind of the biggest creature we have around here and there's no like sheep or anything here. It is. It's the biggest one. We got this one that's quite sharp because it's broken. That's cool. And of course, I see some more mushrooms. I keep seeing these big natural quartz crystals around the place. And there's also a bunch that are like in our holiday house that are like that big. And so they must be a common thing around here, but it's still really cool to see. keep trying to navigate through here and like all the trees are quite close together so I keep getting branches snagging on me and stuff and then every time I think that I found a clear spot to walk through I keep walking through spider webs <laughs> I haven't actually seen any spiders yet though which is good Ooh. I think I see like another clearing out over there 
So we're gonna go explore that and see what we can find. If I can find a path without spider webs. <laughs> it's another interesting little fungus growing under this tree. There's a little younger one right there. I've come up to the clearing which is very nicely filled with sunlight. So, oh, I see a little lizard. So beautiful and there's still so much to explore but I might have to come back tomorrow. My camera battery is dying um, and I feel like I'm dying because I'm like really hot and kind of hungry and just whingy so I'm probably gonna head back now. If I see anything else cool I'll film it on my phone and I do have two more days left here so there will definitely be like part two attached to this vlog or like a whole separate vlog of more exploring and just fun stuff so yeah thank you for joining me in this lovely little spot it's just so cool here oh I love it I love it so much I don't know if you guys can make this out, but I found some kangaroo prints from their back feet. And there's the big toe, there's a little toe, and another toe. I don't think you can really make it out, but if you're in person you can really see that that's a footprint. So many kangas. Do you see them all? Found another bone here. It's kind of just on its own though. Don't see any other bones. But it's cool. It's a femur. Nice. So cool. I reckon you could fit a whole person in there. Now it like spirals around. That's really awesome. Oh, look at that. I keep hearing these sounds in the woods. Like twig snapping or I don't know, someone eating sticks. <laughs> So I know I said that my camera was going flat and that I was going to go back to the house but uh, I kept walking anyway <laughs> and I'm back to vlog some more. I don't know, this vlog's just really disorganised because I'm out of practice, that's my usual excuse. There's that cool hollow tree we were just looking at. Oh there's another really massive hollow tree here, you can see, that's so cool. But I want to know what that sound is crackling sound. I don't know. <laughs> so, what was that? I saw a bunch more kangaroos as I was coming back, like so many of them. It was really cool. And then I saw that one big one that I showed you guys and uh, that was kind of freaky. I was a bit scared of that guy, but he was 
far enough away that I was nervous. I've kind of reached the end of the pine forest, I guess. Now there's a field right there. And there's still some kangaroos over there. See him? He's looking at me. There's another one there too. And then there's more of the forest. Look at that cool tree. Oh, I see. Thought I knew that noise. It's the birds eating the pine cones and then dropping the bits 